I'm going to play Constructed. I'm going to play Constructed. I'm going to pretend that I'm the world champion. We want to do some Carvalho Fires, some Paulo Vitor Domodorosa Control. I've made my decision. We're going to play some more PVDDR. Standard ranked. PVDDR. I am feeling good, man. I am feeling it. I am, like, in a mood, man. How was it hosting the World Championship? Wrecking games? It felt so good. First of all, those Wizards of the Coast crew people, fuck, they are just wonderful to work with. They are cheerful and thoughtful. This looks good to me. I'm looking at this and I'm amazed that I just don't have some <laughs> transcendent envoys without staggering insight. God. Yeah, like... Marshall's awesome. Cedric's awesome. Paul's awesome. Maria's awesome. Becca's awesome. Ailey's awesome. Brian Kibler is also awesome. It's just great. It's just... It, oh, God. I, just, I had so much fun working there. Oh, look. It's some mono red. <laughs> some mono red piece of shit. <laughs> well, our, our game one ain't gonna look so good. Lovely to work with those people, man. It was so good. I'm known for my excellent fight. Let's try this. And I did a good job, man. I am a day nine and I like to do a good job. I like to do a good job. Well, Newkirk says, after that tough loss to you, that Gruel deck ended up going 4-2. Well, damn it, Admiral Newkirk. Man, I want I want my decks to do that well. I hate you now. <laughs> That's more like it. That's more like it. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm going to need a... Oh, this is so painful. I actually, I actually can't counter this because my opponent has enough for an Embercleave. What's the bell song called? It's called Forgotten Ritual by Hole Bauman. Face is the place. We're ready to eat it. Really? Absorb? Well, this is this is actually good. If we can get a shot of the sky, we're in pretty grand shape. What the deck still thing? Yeah, we're doing what the deck on Monday. Monday. Got him. Am I blind or why was Absorb on the robber not an option? Because my opponent had one, two, three, four, five mana with two things attacking. The Anax would have gotten an additional two devotion for the Ember Cleave and then would have bonked us in for one billion damage.
So we want none of these. We're looking for actually a second Shadow of the Sky. I'm the best player here. I think our opponent made a mistake. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. You had to ferry three down, so no cleave at instant speed. Okay. Alright. Fuck. Okay. Shit. Fuck. Uh, regardless, the choice was still correct because it's one, two, three, four, five, six mana that would have been out, so we still would have been dead. Uh. Oh, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh fuck, I didn't do- Oh my god, I passed through because I was talking! Fuck! Oh my god. I literally just passed through. Fuck! Fuck! God, I'm so fucking annoyed at that. I literally had the stop there. Ah! Alright. God damn it. Ugh. Can't counter anything? Fuck. What do we want to cut here? This is the one I cut. What are your thoughts on Marcio's Mulligan? I think it's an I, I think it's just widely considered to be an incorrect decision. Um, I I I will I will support the decision a thousand percent though, because when you are on the big stage, your sleep has been getting interrupted for days. You're playing grueling sen uh, grueling sessions against exclusively the best players who are trying to shit on you. There's times when you just look and you go, dude, you know what? I just I can I just get this one this one good thing to happen to me, please. And I believe, according to the math, it was 47% to get an untapped red in time. Um, and, like, higher than that, 60-some-odd percent to get any red source. Um, and more than that if an additional draw came in due to some other card. So I, I, I understand that it is a risk. I wouldn't call it atrocious. I would call it probably a little incorrect. Marginally. But more than anything, man, like, I... I, I generally really do not support, like, you don't understand type arguments, but, like... Dude, truth be told, it is, it is very difficult to know the feeling. Until you're there. And I, dude, I, I choked in finals before, man. I've talked about getting a lot of seconds. <laughs> dude, more than one of those second places is because I'm just, man, fuck! This is fine. Victoria says, when a friend saw who was in the final, said that Marcio Carvalho should have been banned for life for cheating in the past. Does really have a bad rap? Looked around and saw a few things about him, but they all looked like uh, they could have been legit mistakes. So my understanding of that is that um, Carvalho... I don't think I need to get rid of any of these things. Carvalho apparently did cheat in the past, uh, in like, when he was younger. And... My personal opinion on it is that no one should ever be banned for life. I just don't, I just, this is something that I as a person fundamentally don't believe in. I do believe that people absolutely make shitty mistakes.
so yeah, you know, Marcio Car Ooh! Marcio Carvalho did cheat, and I believe that there was a punishment instituted for it. And Marcio Carvalho has been practicing and playing a lot, trying to improve. There's a lot of people that as they're ranking up, they only ever work with the really good players. Marcio Carvalho has reached down to people who are in, uh, Pro Tour qualifiers and helped them improve and spent considerable time leading up to Worlds doing that. Um, and I think that there is a remarkable amount of self-awareness and humility that that takes. Just to be able to say, you know what? I fucked up, and I am not only going to try to stop fucking up. I am going to try to do positive things and help people out to offset what I believe is hurt that I have caused people. I mean, I, I really think that that takes some incredible wherewithal. I do think Marcio Carvalho, for my sake, needs to work on his interview skills. He's so exhausted from coming from lowers, but fucking come on, give me something, Marcio. <laughs> I mean, fucking come on, bro. I mean, l l give a host a break, man. It was like pulling teeth. It was not like pulling teeth. It was actually, it was actually fine. I mean, I'm pretty comfortable in those situations navigating it. I'm, I'm exaggerating because it's funny to say. But. I mean, come on. When you got Paulo Vitor Dama de Rosa giving the best winners interview in the history of esports, you know, you're gonna look bad. You're gonna look bad next to him. But yeah, I, I don't know. I, I just I just don't believe in this sort of nonsense of like once a cheater, always a cheater. Once you've done something that's hurt me, I never I wanna completely cut you off. Like I don't know. I just I just really, really, really don't believe in it. Um I I mean like and and that might surprise some of you because like I absolutely have done harsh things like that, you know, where I'm like, well, you know what, you said something inappropriate in chat, so, you know, we're, still, we're gonna give you a pretty harsh punishment, and... Oh... It's dream time, baby. But just, just because there's that, you know, like, I believe that if someone cheats, you gotta go, dude, I gotta be honest. I gotta ban you for like three years. I'm, I gotta give you a, a a a ban that is thick, swollen, and tight. I have to do that. So, Alan says, how much work do you put into playing a game to prepare to host? Considerable, considerable time. Considerable. Like for instance, if I'm doing a show open that lasts sixty seconds, I'll probably practice that for four hours. Not necessarily all at once, but I'll practice it. If I am tired and I wake up and I'm exhausted, I will immediately spend 20 minutes doing a show open while I'm exhausted. If I am having a high, baby. Well, not not from any chemical. I actually don't do any drugs at all, but I mean like, unless you count, unless you count coffee as a drug. Um, if I'm feeling great because I just won an incredible game of something, boom, I'll practice right away, 20 minutes. If I'm on the airplane and there's turbulence like there was on the way to Hawaii, which gives me a lot of damn stress, I will practice it.
What a bastard. It's an axe. Land one time. Shadow of the sky. One, two, three, four, five, six. Go to eight. Do I do this blind? I think that this is better to do blind at an opportunity to shatter the sky because I can always Teferi bounce. There's an Ember Cleave and Lando in hand. We are boom. But yeah, and then I found out I wasn't doing a show open, so I was like, oh, great. Nice, cool. Let me know any other work you need me to not do. I'm also autopiloting a little bit here, so I'm talking about something that's actually interesting to me and compelling to me. And <laughs> I should, like, should have played this land, for instance. And yeah, no, I'm, I'm just such like a heavy believer in redemption, you know, for our good friends who have match fixed or cheated or things like that. Because I mean, man, I'm dead, huh? I'm a dead guy, huh? That's fine. I misplayed in the first time. Um, no! Because, I mean, like, I think to how I behaved in college, in high school, I was an angry little nerd. Nice a lot of the time, until my emotions exited my window of tolerance. I, I would behave in what can only be described as a tantrum. Why not, man? I'm going to keep these crappy hands. I actually think that it's an incredibly honorable thing that Wizards of the Coast permits people that have transgressed in the past back in. I believe in harsh bans, man, I believe it, but I do not believe in perma bans. I do not. I do not. Not even. Not even really as much in my real life. There are some people that I just go, you know what, this is not a healthy relationship with this person. I'm good. I'm outie. I'm outie. I'm outie pouty. Ang8811 says, what about repeat offenders? If you get banned three years and then come back and cheat again? Yeah, then just give them, give them a ban again. I mean, it's one of those things where... I think that this phrase is a little too harsh, but I, I, I find it appropriate for this, which is trust but verify. You know, like, if there is someone who's a cheater in the past and they come back, maybe you just assign a judge to that specific person. Nice. And you just sit on them like a hawk. And go, dude, no, we're fully supportive of you being here. But we are going to do this for the time being. This is this is part of the punishment that is levied. This is our way of trying to make sure that you have support coming back in. There's someone who's literally watching you behave appropriately. So there you go. Not like a, your three years is done, but we still don't trust you, motherfucker. You know, like a... All right, we're going to do this. And there are people who have been repeat cheat offenders. In fact, there there are there are very good esports pros in League and StarCraft that I know that map hacked when they were young. And when you say, "Oh, is this controversy?" Dude, I'm talking about if I got a 14-year-old, a freshman in high school 
in like the year of, how old was I when I was a freshman? Yeah, in the year of like 2001, being like, oh, is there a way to see all the units? And they look it up and yes. Oh my God, I didn't even play the, the Omen of the Sea. Oh my God, fuck. All right, I don't, I don't give a damn. And you know, e even even today, I'm 33 years old. I think back to shit I did that I was 22, and I'm proud of it. And I think back to shit I did when I was 22, and I'm embarrassed. Meyer the Great says, That is very expensive, though, to have one judge to keep one person from cheating. That is kind of a waste of resource. That, that comment, I think, is, is it's missing the essence of the point that I'm trying to make. The point that I'm trying to make is... You have a punishment for someone that has violated a rule. When they come back, you don't have to pretend like it didn't happen. You could do something like assign a judge to them. You could do something like have a closer eye on them. You could do something like only permit them to play in a particular tournament if they had some sort of anti-hack tool installed on their computer, which is extremely common in StarCraft. Uh, in Brood War, at least. And then if they, if they break the rules again, you punish them again, and you're willing to welcome them back again. That's, that's the point I'm trying to communicate. Not throwing my hands up like some armchair redditor. Why don't they just have one judge per competitor in thousand person fields? Like, the the practicality you're stressing, I think, is absolutely true. Like, you don't want to arbitrarily implement things that cannot be executed upon. Yeah, I think that one thing that is that is nice about a lot of the connectivity that comes from social media and comes from communities and people who were hurt or bothered or concerned about whatever, um, these people can then connect to each other. And we can discover, like, wow, there are large groups of people that are bothered by Thing X. Um... You know, and I mean, the, the obvious one is that we're talking about is like cheating in games or people that have done match fixing or things like that. There's a lot of people that have done inappropriate, crazy shit when they were younger, like 15 years ago. And, and like, what do we do with that? And I think that this, this whole blanket burn the man to the ground, <laughs> burn the woman to the ground, burn them all. <laughs> oh my god all right can i just all right i'm gonna break my rule i'm gonna break a rule a long-standing no politics rule because i just couldn't believe how how poorly mike bloomberg stated this in the democratic debate um we're gonna ignore the context for a moment but he said a man or a woman or more than that <laughs> It was just such a, a, I'm sorry, a what? Like, are you talking about, like, a double man, perhaps? <laughs> like, what do you mean more than that? Like, what does that mean? And, 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 and a, a lot of blinking. P people have a tendency to blink when they're trying to process thoughts where you'll, you'll see me, like, trying to think of the point I'm trying to make. And he's just up there. He's like, a, a, a man or a woman? Or more than that? Oh my god, that was the funniest, that was the funniest thing. Holy shit, yep. Yes, discard land, submit. And I mean, I get if you're trying to express support for non-binary, for uh, trans, for, you know, any number of different identifiers that have, like, grown in public visibility recently but god i thought that was the funniest thing man i'm like i i, I what are we what are we trying to say here man i i think we just go ahead and l spec it huh mm. 
Oh my god. Oh. I think it's important to practice. It's important to practice. I think it's important to practice. Autumn Burchett's chosen pronouns are they, them. So you practice. You practice saying they and them a lot. You practice it. And you know what? If you're someone who's used to saying he or she, you're going to mess up. Not because you're a piece of shit, but because it's deeply programmed in your brain. It's deeply programmed in your brain. You will be halfway done with a sentence before you even realize that you have said he or she at the start of the sentence instead of they. And to those of you out there who are not used to it, haven't done it before, that sort of thing, you'll just keep practicing until you get it right. And you know what? You're going to mess up. It's all right. Just keep practicing. Keep training. Try not to go into apologetics mode. I am so, so sorry. Just keep practicing, training, get it right, man. This kind of thing is important. Now, how do we... I think banishing light here is good. All right, get the blocker out of the way. Figbird says, yeah, I remember when Lee uh, made the change. It was almost a weekly thing that one of Sean's would mess up. Yeah. Incredibly grateful for how calm and understanding Lee was throughout everything. Because I've known Lee a long time. I've known Lee since um, 2008. So 12 years. Yeah, we're not going to permit questing beasts out here. Gender Druid says, uh, the people who get pronouns wrong and immediately make it about themselves. Yeah. And, you know, I, I, I get it. There's a lot of people that when they feel as though they have caused harm, but they didn't mean to choose harm. Oh, what a blessing! Binding of Titans put our second creature into the bin. Perfect. I didn't mean to do harm, but I did harm. But I didn't mean to. This is, I, I, this is why this is a phrase I stress a lot. You will hurt people's feelings in ways you didn't intend to. And it doesn't make you a piece of shit. It makes you actually a human being. I like to say that because I want someone to hear that and go, Ooh, I messed up, but I'm okay. Therefore, I can focus on the person whose feelings I hurt and make sure they're doing okay. Jerg says, intent is not magical. Uh, intent isn't a magic bullet to fix everything, but it does matter. For instance, if I said, I'm trying to hurt all non-binary folk out there. That's my goal. Nailed it. I think that's worse than if I <laughs> didn't say they, them, despite wanting to. You know what I mean? All right. What do we do here? We are up against the deck that we absolutely murdered trivially. I think let's do the battlefield and take a gander. This this game was actually so easy. I don't know what is going on here, but there is really not that many things in here. I think the Dovin's veto, well, Mystic Disputes, probably. I want the Aether Gusts in. Narset's strong against the draws. What do we think about Shatter the Sky in here? Is Shatter the Sky not so great here? I feel like doing something like this. I mean, that looks pretty darned good. Elspeth conquers death. Maybe a Dovin's Veto in here. Let's hit the OK button. 
What's the use case for Commence the Endgame? If I'm in a mirror matchup against another Azorius control deck, Scribbles and Flapjacks, I want to have some way to get presence on the board at instant speed that's uncounterable. So Commence the Endgame is the uncounterable threat maker, face breaker, thirst slaker, point taker. play the birth of Miletus? I think no, because if we're up against a turn four, um, excuse me, a turn three questing beast, hi Sheriff, how was your nap? Yeah. Sheriff, yeah, come on up. I got my I got my my shirt that you like to put little holes in. Come on up. Yeah, there you go. That's my little cat. That's my little brown cat. Yeah. Ooh. It resolves. Oh my god. Oh. I like that comment by Wolf Bjornsson. It says, don't blame to malice what can be explained by ignorance. It's a nice little quote. And Vwem... Vwem has gifted 550 total subs to this channel. Vwem is the number one gift giver of all time here. Vwem, if you were here, I would hoist you upon my shoulder and let you nuzzle into my ear. Is all to that, Sean? You got it. Yeah, look at look at how comfy you could be, man. Get the fuck out of here. There's also no Nissa, which is good. Yeah, I'm not I'm not gonna tell why. That's that's quite a lot of mana. I think our Archon of Sun's Grace is gonna be pretty good here. Vwem just gifted two more subs for a total of 552. Damn, Vwem. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's a good cat. Yeah, I love you. Yeah. I always want our little baby cat to be happy. I'm sorry, I actually didn't mean to cast this first. That'll be fine. Just listen to this cat. That's a very happy girl. Yeah. It's our little chonky princess. She's very happy. Oh my god, yes. Oh, what a good cat. Oh. 
Oh my god, we're just so happy. We're just so happy to see Dad killing people with someone else's deck list. Yeah. Can you hear this cat? I mean, I really hope you can hear this cat, dude. I don't want that. I'd be happy to have one of those here. God, I love you so much, Sheriff. You're just the best cat ever. Just the best cat ever. Yeah. Oh, this is an important time in my day. Okay, let me unmute the game. I mean, God. I could just talk about how much I love my cat for six straight hours. This is this is incredible to me. Yeah, you maybe don't want the kisses. Okay, goodbye. Oh my god. Chum, 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 chum. Going in. Look at the lifelink. Look at this. Ah, Meyer the Great says, I love your cat life. However, I'm new to this channel. How many cats do you have? And what are their names? We have two cats in this here household. We have Sheriff. Sheriff the brown cat was the visitor that you just saw. Sheriff can be found using the Day Sheriff emote or Day Howdy for the illustrationings. In addition, we also have the gray cat called Despy. D E S P Y, short for Desperado. You can find her with Day Despy or uh, with Day Purr. You can see my happy little gray baby cat. I love my cats very much. They're both five. God, I love my cats like a lot. Like, like, it's it's almost offensive and embarrassing how much I love them. The daily routine with the cats is get up, and then we uh, normally, when we stay in bed, I'll be in bed, and Sheriff will just plop herself right here and tuck her little arms in and just purr until I've woken up. And then she'll just look at me right into my eyes. Until I get up and feed her breakfast. All right, that's step one. Uh, there's the morning routine, which usually involves just trying to get some other work stuffs done. Uh, some metery deetery doos. And then often around, around 11.30, Sheriff wants to go on a walk. It's walking time for our little sweet kitten. Uh, so we go outside, and generally we walk onto the doormat. You know, the, the at the front of the door, and Sheriff sits down there, and I walk down the hall. And then I crouch down, and I go, okay. And then she wiggles, and then she jumps off the doormat. Comes over to me and starts rubbing over. Flips upside down, rubber little tummy while she rolls around in the sun. Then we walk up the hallway to the elevator, and then uh, people tend to open up the elevator door, and we, we scurry back. Um, morning is a lot of activity. There's a lot of looking at birds, getting excited by that, walking in the hallways. Don't hate the negate. Tempo game is pretty important. 
Uh, when I'm streaming, this is typically where the cats sleep. Typically through all that sleeping, um, right around six, kitties tend to wake up, five tend to wake up. That's when Sheriff wants to snuggle time, and that's when Despy just plops herself right here. Dinner time occurs right around between seven and nine. More food, very exciting. Play some string, pretty exciting. And then right around 11, Sheriff wants to go on another walk. She just stands at the door and meows. But I think increasingly she's just learned that if she stands at the door and meows, she'll get attention. So... She'll just meow, and then I'll go over and open the door, and she'll just look at me. And I'm like, uh... And that's a life for our little kitties. You walk the cats? Man, you know I walk the cats on Lucky Carvis, man. Go on little kitty walks. It's nice. Collision says, time for gym later. Oh, man, go get ripped, Collision. And that's empty. It's time for some water. No, no, I'll hang on to this one, please. I'm a Hunix. I've been trying to get my cats ready to go on walks, and they've gotten used to the harness indoors, but they're still terrified of the leashes. Yeah, I mean... I, I don't do any of the leash or collar. I don't even have any of that. I have the microchips in them so I can track the cats. <laughs> but, like, you know, I just I just wander around and the cats are so, oh, oh. Comes and hides behind Dad. I get another Elspeth Conquers Death for this of the horns. That would be tight. Rawr. Have a good night in fame, man. Peace out. Oh, look at that chunky kidder. Alright, let's take a peek. Alright, so let's let's how do we how do we wanna do this? The omen of the sea. How do we take a peek? So this is X equals three. We'll kill this, that'll kill this. want a few mystic disputes in here maybe I mean this is a lot of counter magic I want the absorbs one more charge counter to kill the archon of sun's grace which also kills the questing beast okay Be a good time to pop the omen of the sea. Shifting ceratops. Okay, let's activate. Maybe I just become a tap down deck. No, no. Bottom, bottom. When you see someone double bottom, you always get excited. So I can eat that. See 
you later, guys. Not, that does not seem like the best play. It gives us a, a considerable amount of outs. This is 15 damage coming in. So we out heal this, right? Unless there's a brazen borrower that sends this back, but I do this now and that feels good. better to play Archon before attacking Nissa for the lifelink? I guess so, yeah. Yeah, I didn't think about that. I just sort of always assume these have lifelink. Do it main phase. Do it main phase. I'm gonna get out of this one. So I could cut all of these. give this a shot. I think this is actually the correct correct one. Yeah, I've played Untitled Goose Game. It's a nice joyous little game. I feel like it's a good example of someone having an idea and then really just devoting to it cleanly. Like the music, the don't have enough land. F fuck, man. Alright, well that's it. Did you ever finish Outer Worlds? No. No. Alright, well that's about as good as it's gonna get, huh? Like, I think the music in Untitled Goose Game is really clever. I think the name Untitled Goose Game is terrible. I think that is a terrible name for a game. Maybe I'm wrong, but like I, I, I was just like, oh come on. I should call it Goose Game, you know. I'm glad someone said it. It's a semicolon kid. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't like that name at all. And I feel like this is a mistake I've heard way more than one game to talk about, where they just wind up with a code name, and then they just get stuck on their code name. please. Really? Okay, okay. Oh, Narset into Narset. Name a more iconic outcome. Land questing beast. Fucking painful. Disciplined. Encounter no higher 
just the trick for this. Alright, let's try to counter this. There, there's a lot of counters in Conan Cause's deck. Counter me, baby. This is very painful, this questing beast. I think I needed to wait a turn and wait for my opponent to tap out and then send back with Aether Gust. Main phase in it, baby. Knock this in for the disputes. What are you buffing it for, huh? I have no idea how to sideboard in this matchup. Oh. Any big dudes good here? Activate ability. Yeah. Please, please. Four. What the finale in this matchup? Finale doesn't seem to do much because if I get like a 6 6 or a 7 7, my opponent has a board full of huge things. Doesn't seem to necessarily do anything. Throwing two cards is fun. Trust me, I have a plan. Do do this. I don't know. We're gonna lose the fairy, which sucks a bit, but it's Pegasus time. Part of me wanted to not play it and just go like double mystic dispute and blow everything up. My opponent has enough mana to do all the stuff my opponent wishes to do. But will my opponent do said things? It's going to be Conan Cause. Let me tell you something. If our opponent disconnected, I'm happy to snack the win. Snack it right up. Come on, Conan Cause. This control deck is actually so fun to play. Hey, Meme Lich. Happy year and a half, man. I'm happy to hear the YouTube videos are helping bring you some high spirits. So 
all yours, dude. We are all connected. I'm not looking long for this world. Yes, I am. I'm looking real long. I'm going long on this world. Chewing through the land as we speak. It's fantastic. We love to see it. Do not underestimate my fortitude. Do not do it. Don't stop underestimating my fortitude. God. I mean, the questing beast is probably going to attack and then get self-killed by the blast zone, you know what I mean? block much. Anyways. Alright. What's your favorite dumb pickup line, Day9? <laughs> well, I says I'm it's did you extract her trick, baby? Because you're 11 out of 10. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we're going to let that one happen. Got him. opponent has a bit of a pickle right now because I, uh, the blast zone kills the Archon of Sons of Grace. It also kills the questing beast. Yes, Elspeth Conquers Death is it. I think that's the only one that really helps us out, huh? Mm, yeah, that one's pretty good. Well, do I pop this here? I can't. I think I actually just have to use the good old fashioned scry. No, no. <sighs> You'd love to see it. Getting me, dude. Oof! Oh, it's so close. Dude, I love these little life link and flapping guys, man. It's great. We're getting pretty close. We're getting pretty close. Winnie the Wars has brief opinions on the current high rank meta. I quit after the Oko fiasco. Yeah, sure, it is. Piece one. Mono red's very strong. Piece two, Azorius control's probably the strongest. And just below those two puppers 
is Jeskai Fires. That deck is awesome. Simic Ramp, what we're playing against, is awesome. We've seen some Rakdos sack claims as having them be on the top. But yeah, they're okay. Pair of cards. Not bad. It. Activate. Oh, Team of Reclamation, I forgot, is, is the other tipper topper tier or decker. I think I actually do it in this order, which might look a little bit weird, but hear me out. See, we do this. This guy is out for good. We hit for seven. We have nine here. And then we just chill. Our opponent might feel obligated to smush out Blast Zone. That could be it. Another plausible possibility is that the big bad uh, this guy comes down. I protect that which cannot protect itself. What do we think? I want all the mana to get spent first. Let's get that one out of there. And there it is. There's we did it. We won. Oh yeah, you love to see it. Oh, look at the look at the nine damage that's on the board right here. Look at this. Look at the unbelievable deftness. Oh wait, there is those two colors. Okay, never mind. All right, we we might be in actual bad shape. That's ten total damage. If there's like a brazen bar, we're there. Uro. Oh, ho, 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 you hate to see it. Oh my god, you just you wish you wish it had never happened, huh? <gasps> Alright, well. Obviously these guys here. Obviously this guy here. This is the play. This is what we got. This is what I got. The Uro. Ooh, what a sick, slick little play. Let me show this guy what I got. Confidence and patience to not play the Shatter. I'm having a hard time not just smashing it out there. It is true. I want to play it. I want to play it, but I got I got to wait for it. Allure, thirst for meaning. Oof. No. Looks like we're going to suffer from a bing and a bong. There's enough mana to blast zone. It is indeed. I got to do it. You gotta go in. You have to do it. You have to do the swingo dingo. Goodbye, my friend. And no life link was seen that day. What a whip. You gotta do it. You gotta do it. Big issue is that we're probably going to be up against a Nissa on the top. Nissa on the tip, tippy, tip top of the deck. Oh, look, Hydroid Crisis. Well, that, you know, gives us, gives us some legs, gives us some outs. Two, five, ten. X equals eight. Yeah. 
X equals four. I find the deck we're running just so hard to play. It's a tricky pickle indeed. So I guess only Elspeth Conquers Death is like the real savior card again. So this deck long cards, I think he has plenty. He's got 23 cards. He's got 28. Alright, I'm getting out of this one. Oops. Wait a minute. I can Ah, <gasps> what's this? What's this? There's Narsets in the air. Loyalty. All right, here we go. Mr. Dispute Narset is not it. Finishing Light and Aether Gust are not it. Ah, there it is. <laughs> awesome. I'm the fucking best player here, man. Alright. <laughs> We're still pretty fucked, man. Let's not... Let's not overcomplicate things. I mean... It, it's a sweet looking move. We're still dead, but not not bad. Oh, there, you love to see it. You love to see it. Narsis coming back to haunt you, my friend. Ooh, look at that. Just a pass. Just a clean pass. Let's get an Elspeth Conqueror's death, shall we? Oh, uh, fuck. Well, whatever. Let's get that one down. Yeah, you can draw one there. That's pretty good. How many are in the bin? Enough to Uro with, huh? Fuck. <laughs> With four seconds left on the clock. That was close. I think I think the sideboarding is what's I think I sideboard incorrectly initially. I think that was the issue. I left in the absorbs when I should have left in the Mystic Disputes. playing on the back foot for a lot of that game. Life seems like it would be more well, relevant. No, my opponent has blue, so my opponent is going to be able to board in counters. So I need to be able to do things on turn four and be able to counter a counter. That's that's what we're that's what we're going for with that. And I think it, it was obvious after game two that the absorbs were not really achieving that. And I think I just, I just didn't see it in time. Boop. We got our two blues. We got our two blues. Alright. Sphinx of Foresight in a Simic deck. What the heck is going on here? Alright, let's, let's give Melita some burf. We did some sweet plays, though. We did do some sweet plays. I like the, I like the four omen of the seas. Using those to do all sorts of trickery bullshit. But we, we, we don't really have terrifically much card draw other than, like, first for meaning. Yeah, I'll take a planes. Plane in Spain. God, do I want Indian tonight? I might want it. You love to want it. You love to want to get it. Teamer. Teamer is Phoenix. Huh. Bum, bup, bum, 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 bum. Oh! What could Fires of Invention and Teamer be about?
I, I'm, I'm really not 100% on this play on this turn. I mean, this is what I what I very am going to do, but uh, I, I have some real doubts about that. Because, like, if it goes land, Cavalier, Sphinx, I'm going to kind of have a, oh, kind of moment there, but I'll still Elspeth Conquer's death in, in a wee bit of time. Cavalier Flame hurts us. Oh, that's 100% fine. We don't even give a damn. Not today. Hoagland was playing Teamer Fires earlier. Jeff Hoagland was playing Teamer Fires, but it was one that only ran Growth Spiral and Uro, and the rest was green red. The rest was all. Mr. Prodigious, with those 94 months as we're getting there. Hang in there, Mr. Prodigious. The Golden Swollen 100 is coming to you soon, baby. Over 100. I feel somehow empty. I have my three land. I have an 04 wall, and I'm feeling confident. I mean, I guess I guess the turn is going to be probably cracking for blue. Activate your abilities. I've got it. Probably gonna try to dopen or thirst for meaning. Probably something like that. Is Enray's Forerunners in standard? Oh, kinda. This protects the fairy. That's a good one. Seagull of Dooms. This day and I don't normally get to watch live, but if I have 10 minutes, I just wanted to say great job at Magic Worlds this weekend. That suit and gold tie looked power hot. Hey, thanks. Those were my ties. I liked my tie. Ooh. Uh, Mr. Dispute ain't gonna do nothing. Oh. I'm dead inside. It was uh, it was actually sort of a white, pink floral tie. It's a nice looking tie. I liked it. Crazy Idiots as the world's broadcast was top notch. First two hours were very bumpy. There's a lot of lie graphics. A lot of graphics were incorrect. Uh, in hilarious ways. Like Javier Dominguez's draft list was like a powerhouse standard list from like a year and a half ago. <laughs> yeah, guess what I'm getting on out of there. Didn't start watching till halfway through, then you saw nothing but flawlessness, babe. You saw nothing but flawlessness. God, yeah, the world's broadcast is like one of the best magic broadcasts I've ever seen. I mean, it was incredible. I mean, Arena is just gold. Arena is just absolute gold, man. It's incredible. Trolley time. Tandor's deck, because it is a Fires of Invention teamer deck, it's hard for me to identify where the card draw is coming from. I will receive your damage, my friend. Oh. This is the card draw, huh? If I can get a Narset down, I can just chokey, chokey, chokey. It's a lot of blue cards. Probably a correct matchup to board in a uh, Mystic Dispute. Right on schedule. Oh, I've done the 
Do I, do I get rid of that? I mean... Crud. I mean, I guess... I absorb this. Oh God, I wish this just said if it has a tag that isn't a creature. This is going to be a lot of damage, huh? Nine and seven still leaves us in pretty good shape. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. Uh. Okay. So we're definitely gonna crack this. We're gonna get some blue 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 damn. Definitely gonna swing. Miletus can wait. This cannot be. We're gonna eat the hasty boy. And we're gonna just continue to slowly gut our opponent. That's what we're gonna do, man. The two creature deck, the two creature special. Oh my god. I am I cannot believe how unbelievably hungry I am right now, man. I want something huge. I want something decodent. So good. Oh. Oh, that's horrible news. I think I die here, right? This is death. I mean, it looks like it, it looks like death. Ding. Seventeen. One billion. Oh. So it does look like it's similar to the other Listos. How do we do this? I think we do the plan of Aether Gusts come in. Arcana Sun's Grace comes in. And a bunch of Mystic Disputes come in. Nope, not you. You. Seems good. ba ba da da Maybe we should actually take the Dream Trawler out. I think we need to take the Dream Trawler out. I think that's a mistake to leave it in. Yeah, we need to we need to get the other Narset in there. That's what I that's what I whipped. Oh, nothing's ever going to get played. Ooh, Dream Trawler's too slow for modern. I don't know how modern works at all. I don't even know what decks are good. I know that all of them are broken. It's the most broken format that has ever existed. I wish that there was a format in Dota that was similar to modern. 
where just like every spell shoots cross map and you do one quick spell combo and just like blow up their nexus and it's like, oh yeah, no, this game's really great. <sighs> Take a peeky weeky woo. No, no. Maybe. Yeah, I'm 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 scared I'm Those modes exist in the what are they? What are they, Vokasok? What are the what are the modes? Where the fuck are modes at, huh? Where are the modes? There are all your modes. This is actually good to do. It's like really disrupts them. Get, get all this nonsense out of there, huh? You love to see it? Probably wonders if actually, actually Thirst for Meaning there is better. Mm, uh, maybe it's better there. Oh, we're gonna get to do the Redux. Continued no land draws, which is good. Shot this in. Now well, we've really slowed down Tundora's draw. gotten anything though, which kind of stinks. Can also like do something really cute with this. I want to see what our opponent does first. So I'm just mushing this down. this out of there. Let's get an island out of there. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Okay, we've, we've gone fairly deep. Man, this deck is so cool. I love, I love, love, love this control list. It just feels so slight at all points in time. There could be another questing. No, there's probably not another questing beast. Otherwise, my opponent would have dunked it. Well, there's some of our solutions. Well, that's, I mean, this just sucks ass. Yuck. 
All right, well, I'm ready. I'm ready to go out. I'm ready for just, like, a single Cavalier to get played. I, I don't know, like, the... the I didn't really get to see Paulo Vitor Domodorosa play against any creature-based green decks, so I, like, don't know... where the, um... Kind of relieved, honestly. Maybe I should just feel the ruined there. I don't know. I don't know anymore. We got we got some action, baby. All right, let's see what we get first. No, I have to do this. Get with this. I know my responsibility. And the cards. Okay. Oh, thank God. Oh. So we want to let this come down. And then we want to let our opponent play something big and scary. Yes. Depending upon what gets played. Could just elf spit the big guy. Oh, Shadow of the Sky and a plus one would be very nice. One on the top? Okay. I think this is the one we have to Elspeth. Huh. All right, let's take a peek. I think this is a good worst case scenario one to have on the top. So I do this first. Just the trick for this. Shatter the sky, huh? Trust me. I have a plan. We have to get rid of this one. But now we have the Elspeth and we have the Aether Gust, which is no. We might actually win this, man. Whew. Do anything about this because we have Narset out. Nice. Oh, we're good. We're good. Here goes nothing. Now, by Aether Gusting this, we can begin to attack. Oh my god, this deck is just so slight with its wins. Jesus. 
I want to be able to start building that momentum on the ground. Because I pretty much am just... I have Teferi Narset and then an Elspeth to return another Narset. That's like, this is, this is the tool set that I have. Let's see if our opponent discards this. No? You got it. No lands. Feels good. Let's get another denial noise. Wee wee, wee wee, wee wee, wee wee. Great. Fuck. Damn it. Huh. I actually have no idea how to sideboard against that. God, I feel like we keep losing in sideboarding errors. That was that was close. We were getting We were getting some some momentum going. This deck feels like it can crush anything, and I keep just not quite navigating the decision space properly. Keep not quite doing it. You got it. We have a black, red, agonizing remorse opening. Dream Trawler is out of there. So we have we have one creature that can deal damage. Just a single creature. Just a single... We have one flapping flying boy. I think the extra Narset would have been good. I also think I need to be a little bit... Well, no, I guess I guess that game was a mulligan to five, so I shouldn't be that torn up about it. What's the reason you favored Mystic Dispute over Absorbing that last game? Uh, two reasons. First of all, if my opponent is doing a Wilderness Reclamation deck with blue, they do have access to counter spells, And so it's very important for me to be able to specifically on turn four go Narset and have one blue up for a Mystic Dispute. I don't get the opportunity to do that with an Absorb. Um. My prowess shall hone your prowess. Yeah, I just don't get the opportunity to do that. Um, so so that that's a big reason. If I see blue, this is something that um, PVDDR did. It, it, depending upon the matchup, certainly. If it's like a control deck, then I just want all the counters. But if it's just a deck with like a small, tiny handful of control pieces. You know, like a Teamer Reclamation or a Jeskai... Or excuse me, a Teamer Fires deck or a Jeskai Fires deck. There's going to be access to counter spells, so what I want to do is I want to stay proactive with my deck and just have Mystic Disputes up enough to where I can shut down my opponent. And Sorry, I think this I'm is late. right to plus this here, because I got this wall, got so I can done. block the three damage. Fuck, man. That is painful. Jesus Christ. Alright, whatever. Bye, guys. Another thing is that I... Um, Another reason is that uh, PVDDR did a lot of boarding out his counters to make his deck more proactive. I'm trying to figure out how to do that against a list that I've never seen before. That's my first time playing against that. So, I mean, I still have some question marks. Um, but I, I did... 
incorrectly not put in a second. I did incorrectly not put in, uh, not a second, a third Narset. I need, need a third Narset in there. That can definitely get escaped. This is what I think is, like, the the traditional Azorius control that's been performing well is honestly... Um, honestly, it's pretty straightforward. You have, like, five Sweepers and four Dream Trawlers and four Elspeth Conquers deck. This deck has a lot fewer of everything and a lot more... A lot more cards are on a lot fewer things that do stuff. I should probably get rid of this Dovin's Veto, man. I don't think there's actually going to be much of anything here. Jeez, there's this Croc, so there's a lot of shit. God. Yeah, one of the things that I think is very clever about this list is there's very, very, there's essentially no dead cards in this because of all the, the good stuff. Hang says, would there be any reason why the world decks would be great for tournaments but not as good to ladder with? Certainly, yeah. Certainly. The, um... If you're, for instance, predicting that everyone's going to be having deck type X and you build something that is anti-X, then, you know, you, you avoid all the bullshit. We are in very bad shape. At least we can we can pray for a cast of a spell, heal up a little bit. Cast Lard and Veil. Boom. Croxa is like the sweetest card. I love Croxa. Burn this card? Yeah. This is really clever, the Meyer Triton plus Escape Creatures combo. our only creature. That one does not help us. It's basically precisely a Shadow of the Sky that we're looking for. Alright. Alright, off to sideboarding. Alright, disputes. Dovin's vetoes. Get out of my deck. I don't actually know how good these are. Um, or these. I think I was doing like this. Bringing the Archon of Sun's Grace. We bring the Aether Gust. The Cerulean Drakes are very good. Who gives a shit about glass caskets? All right, yeah. So this is this is the plan. <laughs> If their guests aren't as good as they look, yeah, they're not as bad as they look either. They're fine cards. They're not fist pump good cards, but you know, when my options are to put in more narcissists or Dovin's vetoes or stuff like that, I think they're still fine.
I'll discard it. <laughs> I'm gonna wait on our good friend Teferi Teferi. Oh, shit. This I hate to see, man. You hate to see it. Change of plans. This is cool. This is more mid range deck. It still has some of the sacrifice package of Rakdos aggro decks of yore. Oh, yeah. Oh, baby. Oh. Oh. It's time to get the grace of the sun going, man. This card is so awesome. This might be, like, my favorite card in Theros Beyond Death. A flapping flyer that just summons endless piles of tutus. Mmm. First. I can no longer stand by and watch. Get out of here. No, I am not making this up as I go. This absorbs just feel. I feel like I'm getting them a turn too slow again. There's enough to get a Croxa going. And I got it. Croxa is so tight, man. Maybe I should have kept three Elspeth Conquers Death in there. Well, looks like our reeds have the goods. Right now. Seems a little passive, doesn't it? Seems a little passive. I think I say no to this one more time. I think that's right. Now I can make the one ones. We're gonna have to switch to frickin' Seth Manfield's mono red deck, man. Oi, 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 oi! We got some outs. We're not dead immediately, but we're dead soon. Meyer Triton is so cool in this deck. And Timrek calls the dead, just puts things in the bin, and oh my god. <laughs> Shit! Ugh. See, PVDDR never wound up in these spots, man. He just he just was calmly, confidently crushing. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I mean it might it might be Red Deck wins time, baby. I assume that's to crank up the Croxus. This is just so cool. Again? All right, let's let's keep making these. So, like, you know, what your pal Sean needs off the top. Absolutely needs sweeper ball in the corner pocket. That's it. That's the only way to do it. We need to deal deeps with the sweeps. Ooh. Someone hates me. 
Alright, well this has been fucking terrible. I want to build that deck, man. That deck looks sweet. 